Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants out in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time and review to show you the video on this completely awesome DeVlieg Model 3B48. It's a DeVlieg horizontal boring and milling machine. It's a high precision machine. It has a 3 inch diameter spindle taper with the number 40 NST. The spindle speeds on the spindle go from 33 to 1600 with 16 changes. That goes from 33 to 1600 and it has six spindle feeds. The spindle comes in and out a full 16 inches as well as the fact that it has a digital readout skill for the spindle out feed. First and foremost we're going to show you how this machine runs and we're going to show you the flaking on the column and how well everything rocks. Let's go ahead and run through it, Frank. All right, that's 33. Okay, we're currently running at 33 RPMs. You'll notice, you'll notice how easy it is to change the spindle speeds on that. I apologize. What RPM? 260. 260 RPM. Five hundred and sixty RPM. Nine seventy. Nine seventy. Okay, 1600. Let me get set up on the tripod here. Okay, back to 120. Okay, we're going to show you a lot of information in a short period of time on this machine. We already talked about the fact that the uh, spindle taper, it's a three inch diameter spindle with the number 40 NST. It has a wide range of spindle speed changes from 33 to 1600. The table on this machine happens to be a 30 by 48 table that has 16 inches of cross travel, excuse me, 52 inches of cross travel and 16 inches of in and out on the saddle. Spindle speed, feeding out. Spindle is currently feeding out. Let me just park the. Uh, back in. Seems like a good spot to be right here. I'm gonna get up close and show them that dial. Thank you. Here's the dial. Manual lever. Backing out. Here's the controls. Let's get in the meat and potatoes here. Here's some of that flaking on that vertical column. Absolutely magnificent. The ways on this machine are exceptional. The mechanics are fantastic. Here's the back side. Here's showing you the spindle speed chart. That's what Frankie was cruising on when he was uh, changing the spindle speeds. Here's the spindle feeds range. Essentially, it goes from 0 .003 to 0 .0075 with approximately eight changes. Let me back out a little bit here, Frank. I missed all that. Very nice. Get up close. Rapid. Rapid I'm not going to see that DRO. All right, let's focus in on that DRO and talk about it real quickly. Okay, we're four and a half minutes in. Okay, what you're seeing here is a four-axis Sony digital readout. 
going to measure the saddle travel towards and away from the column, the cross travel, the vertical head up and down, and believe it or not, the fourth axis is going to be for your spindle. That's for your 16 inches for your spindle to come in and out. The scale is located on the back side of the machine. Let me swap the sides in. Okay, showing the digital readout. Now I'm going to the head. Wrap it up. Wrap it down. Coming down. Smooth. So we've established that there's power feed in all directions. Power rapid traverse in all directions. We have a Sony 4 axis digital readout that's currently working. Moving on, we also have a, I wanted to show you from the back side, some of the virtues of the power drawbar unit. It has a fully functioning power drawbar unit. The serial number on this machine is 5-185. I don't know if you can see that or not. So here's the front side of the machine. Showing you again the T-slotted table. The overall weight on this machine is 22,000 pounds. Okay, let me see if there's a little bit of room back here. So here's the scale. Here's what I was talking about. Here's the scale for the digital readout on the back side that's going to show your positioning from 0 to 16 inches for the spindle traveling in and out. Here's the motor for the power draw bar. And here's the mechanics of the front side. Alright, so the overall dimensions on this machine is 98 inches high by 90 inches wide by 116 in length. Speaking of dimensions, we're going to talk about the tooling. There's one lot of assorted number 40 NST tool holders and end mill holders. There's quite a few. There's at least two dozen end mill holders that come with this machine. First of all, on the left, you're seeing a T-slotted rotary table. It weighs approximately 800 pounds. This is 52 inches left to right. It's 14 inches deep and it's 28 inches tall. We have it currently sitting here on a pallet so we can pick it up and move it around easily. It's an absolutely magnificent heavy duty T-slotted rotary table. Okay, here's the cream of the crop. This happens to be a, be a Devleeg automatic indexing, automatic through air. So we're going to call it an air lift assist indexing and clamping T-slotted square rotary table. The top surface area happens to be 30 inches by 30 inches. The platen base is 33 by 31, and it's 8 inches tall. The way that this is set up for automatic air is we're going to run off of this nipple here off of the blue hose hooks up off of this unit here. Very simple and easy to run. We call that the uh, airlift assist. Happens to be the energy control point unit. So kind of simple, kind of fun. You can use it if you like. You'll see a complete rotation of 360 degrees on the, on the table. And the overall height on that is 8 inches. We're putting the weight at approximately about, what, 1,200, 1,500 pounds on the rotary table. And the fact that it's a Devleeg, it's super high quality, and all everything that you're seeing is American made. All right, on behalf of Machinery Consultants, we'd like to thank you for your time and review. If there's any additional questions or anything that we haven't covered in this video, please feel free to let us know. Our website is www.machineryconsultants.com, and our phone number here in Salt Lake City, Utah is 801-531-9500.
Thanks again for letting me show you this beautiful American-made Devlieg boring mill running under power.